Welcome back. We are still on the topic statistics. In the previous video, we learned about the measures of central tendency. In this video, we are going to learn how to find the mean of a set of numbers. Mean of a set of numbers. If x1, x2, x3 up to sn are a set of numbers, then the mean of the numbers is given by x with a bar on top. So this is how we represent the mean, x with a bar on top. And to get it, we will have to add the numbers in the set and divide it by the number of terms in the set. So the mean is equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus xn divided by n. And as I've said, it means that we will have to add the numbers and divide it by the number of terms. So the mean of a set of numbers is equal to the sum of all the numbers divided by the number of terms in the set. Let's take some examples. Let's consider this one. Find the mean of 4, 0, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 4, 4, 5. Let's count the number of members in this set. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the number of members, that is our n, is equal to 10. To get the mean, we will add all the numbers and then we will divide it by 10, which is the number of terms in the set. So you have 4 plus 0 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 3 plus 2 plus 4 plus 4 plus 5 divided by 10. And this will give us 28 divided by 10, which is 2.8. So the mean of this set of numbers is 2.8. Let's consider another example. Find the mean of 2, 14, 13, 11, 11, 10, 11. Once again, let's count the number of terms here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the number of terms, or n, is equal to 7. To get the mean, we will add all the numbers and we will divide it by the number of terms, which is 7. So that will be 2 plus 14 plus 13 plus 11 plus 11 plus 10 plus 11 divided by 7. And this will give us 72 divided by 7, which is... 10.3 so it means that the mean of this set of numbers is 10.3 let's consider the last example the mean of the numbers 5 1 6 0 4 8 x and 2 is 4 find x so here the mean has been given to us but we do not know the value of one of the numbers. The question wants us to use this information to find the value of x. That is the missing number. We know that the mean of a set of numbers is equal to the sum of all the numbers divided by the number of terms. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight terms so the number of terms is eight so the n value is eight to get the mean we will add all the numbers that will be five plus one plus six plus zero plus four plus eight plus x plus two and then we will divide it by the number of terms which is eight but the question says that the mean of this set of numbers is four so it means that the mean is equal to 4. So we can replace the mean here with 4. When we do that, we will have 4 is equal to 
5 plus 1 plus 6 plus 0 plus 4 plus 8 plus 2 will give us 26. So we have 4 is equal to 26 plus x divided by 8. We have a linear equation here. So we solve this linear equation for the value of x. To do that, we will multiply the left hand side by 8 and we multiply the right hand side by 8. So 8 and 8 will be gone. 8 times 4 will give us 32. And so we will have 32 is equal to 26 plus x. x will be equal to 32 minus 26. And 32 minus 26 is 6. So it means that the value of x in this set is 6. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to this channel for more videos. We have learned how to find the mean of a set of numbers in this video. In the next video, we are going to learn how to find the mean from an ungrouped frequency distribution table. Bye-bye.